What's up YouTube, it's the Ghetto Gotti hitting you guys with a New Year's deck profile of my updated 6 Samurai deck. Uh, a few of you guys have been requesting this deck for a while now and I'm so sorry that I've been holding it off until now. Um, when I was requested for this deck profile, I was in the, in the midst of final season and I was finishing up finals and just studying and shit. Um, after finals finish, you know, I was took a long break, you know, I just wanted to rest, uh, went back to work and made money, um, enjoyed the holidays, Christmas, and my birthday was the 30th, like two days ago, so happy birthday to, birthday to me, I guess, and, uh, and, like, the week before, um, I decided to, like, get off my Yu-Gi-Oh break and decided to build decks again and uh, I did recently build Pepe it's a deck I've been always wanting to make for a while now and I finally built it and hopefully I'll be able to take this to YCS Atlanta soon um, and while I, when I finished Pepe I was all able to finish up picking up the cards I needed to fin uh, show you guys my updated six center my deck so sorry about that guys for having you guys wait so long but uh I'm going to start off with my deck profile of six samurais. Um, now, keynotes. I built this list, um, made it geared to, geared to beating Pepe or any Pendulum variant based decks. Uh, so, um, let me zoom out. Yeah, yeah. Any Pendulum based decks, of course. So, not so much Cosmo. If uh, mostly the Cosmo hate is in the side, but um, I'm gonna start off with the duck profile, guys. Uh, so to start off, we've got two Elder, uh, basic. He's your Cyber Dragon. He combos with Asceticism and he makes Naturia Beast, which is the whole point of this deck is to make a hard lock of Naturia Beast, Karnagorian, and probably a Set Solemn Scolding first turn. That's what you want to aim for in this deck, and a set elder, double elder helps you get there. Uh, three Kagamusha, of course. Um, it's the tuner of the deck, level two. Uh, mate Beast, Mate Shein, and any other synchro you want. Uh, his effect is somewhat kind of good still. Um, if you have like a Shein on board, they try to get Castell it away. You can use his effect to target the Kagamusha instead, which is pretty, pretty, pretty relevant, I guess. Um, three Kizans, uh, your Grandmaster of the deck, when there's another six Samurai monster on the field, there, you can special summon it, and then while there's two or more, it gains 300 attack, so it's like a 21 beater. Um, you pretty much make rank fours with him, uh, you can make Sheen with him since I'm running Dojo and Squire. And, uh, mostly I like him for the rank 4s. And OTK, of course. Uh, two Kagekis. This is probably the only normal summon you want to have in this deck. Uh, L, uh, Kageki lets you special summon another 6 Samurai monster for level 4 or lower 6 Samurai. No, yeah. From here to, to the field. Um, make Sheen, of course. Can't make B since it's a wind, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it was a wind. Uh, but it's not. Uh, but that's really it. I only run two. Three is not needed. Honestly, I'd probably, I probably don't even want to run two. I'd probably just cut one and run the third elder. But that that would need some more testing. Um, one Zanji. I do not really like running Zanji. Like it sucks opening him. But you really need him since you're running triple asceticism in this build, and you really need him for that fact that you can open asceticism and keys on. Uh, it's good, you can make a rank 4, and since you run Dojo, you can make Sheen with this. Um, but, I mean, I'm forced to run him. I'm, you really are forced to run him, and, yeah. Um, and then the one Squire. You run Squire because of Dojo. Uh, with Squire, it opens up all, um, like, it opens up way more combos because you're running Dojo. And you make double Sheen because of him in one turn. And you can make Sheen and Beast in one turn because of him as well. Um, his uh, other effect is pretty good because um, 
Uh, you can save a six samurai monster from battle for for the entire turn, which I guess is not that relevant because you're just gonna be making beast instead. But I mean, he's just there for the combos. Level one tuner, not that bad. Um, that's it for the monsters. I think that's like that's only like, whoops. <laughs> that is like let's see, one two three four five six seven. Twelve monsters, I believe. Twelve monsters. Yep, twelve monsters. I'm sorry about that. Uh, on for the spells. There's a lot of spells. Uh, three upstart, of course. Hobins. Make a 37 card deck, of course. Three smoke signal. You have to run three now that Roto's at one. Uh, when Roto's at three, you didn't really, really need to max out on this card at all because all that searching was not necessary when Roto was at three because it can search keys on as well. Um, but you have to run three. Seen smoke signal, and it's a combo piece, of course. Uh, three United's. I only have one super, kind of sucks, but um, three United. Your draw power gets to your trap cards, the very few that you run. Uh, more combo pieces, and it's just such an amazing card. Uh, three Asceticism, another main combo piece to make your hard lock of beast. Nutria Beast and Shein and what other many other synchros you can make in the extra deck as well. Because this card is amazing. And there's no once per turn clause on this card either, which is what I love about older cards. <laughs> uh three Shein Dojo. This with Sky Squire makes it this because of this it unlocks so many synchro plays. Um many amazing first turn plays with like double Shein and Nat Beast and stuff like that. Um, am I saying um a lot? I'm not too sure. Recent brand new addition to the deck is three Instant Fusion. They're in different sleeves. I'm sorry, they're from my Pepe deck. But uh, three Instant Fusion just, oh my god, just made this deck even nuttier. Um, you make, mostly you want to make rank fours with this, but this it also extends your synchro plays. Make, making Leo, Trishula, uh, most of the time you make like Castell or like Karnagorgon with this, and it's so good what Norden can do for this deck. Like three instant fusion is a must. Um, for more consistency, I play two chicken game. I would play three, but I just didn't know what to take out for the third. But like I wanted to make this deck as consistent as possible, so I added in chicken game. Um, and I think the fact that if you have lower life points, you take no damage. Like, that's pretty good if you're at a bad, or bad position, which you shouldn't be, but I'll get on to that later. One Rota, of course, you have to run it. It's at one. And then the one Soul Charge. Just so nutty. On for the traps. You run very few traps, but these are the best traps that you probably would run in this deck. Uh, double Scolding. Having this and a Nechiria Beast face up is just game. You just pretty much win. It's like if they do have the out to the beast, like if they normal summon a monster, special hat tricker, and they make like a Karen going into run over or feral imps, uh, or anything, you can just scolding it. Game. Like, um, Castell, if they make a Castell scolding, like, um, it's just game if you have this. Like, it's just so good. Um, I would run three, I just couldn't find a third. <coughs> Sorry about that. But, um, this is such an amazing card. Oh my god. When Bosch comes out, this could probably be, probably be three solemn notice, but, but yeah, scolding is just so amazing. I guess for the third scolding, one warning. Um, Two Mirror Force, I felt like I needed defensive traps. Uh, like let's say you don't have the Scolding and you don't have a Karen of Gorgon. I mean, well, you don't have a Scolding. And like, if you do have a Karen of Gorgon, they can probably just... Pepe is now playing Karen of Gorgon themselves, so they can make a Karen of Gorgon and attack over your beast. Or they can make Feral, Men, Feral Limbs and attack over beast, and you can just Mirror Force them. Or during late game try to push for OTK, they can just mirror force them to sleep. Uh, a, lot, a lot of decks won't expect mirror force, so I think that's pretty good. And then last but not least, the one Vandy's. 
blowout card. This and a Sheehan backed up with it is just amazing. Or a 101 is pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's it for the main. That's a 40 card main. Uh, that, that's 40 cards. Um, on for the extra deck. Uh, two Norden. Two Norden, of course, since you run triple infusion, just just unlocks. Uh, it just unlocks your entire extra deck for you. The plays you can make with instant fusion is so amazing. Um, let's see what else. Uh, one Catastrophe. Uh, this is like your anti Cosmo card. Like the only thing I have in the extra deck for Cosmo. Uh, it outs Dark Destroyer. It outs any of the big ships, to be honest. And like you, honest won't hurt you either if they still run honest. But um, this is pretty much an out to anything that uh, that's unaffected by targeting. Um, so I still would keep this in for now. Uh, one beast. This is the MVP of the format. Not the deck, but the format. Um, this is what you gear to making first turn. You want to go first, and nine nine out of ten times they will make you go first. Um, Beast is just so good against Pepe or Pendulum decks. Like, they have very few outs to it. Like, they would have to open up Hat Tricker if they have the out to this. If not, they're fucked. Um, and, and, I mean, honestly, you could lose to Naturia Beast as well. I mean, we do play a lot of tr spells ourselves, but... At the same time, we have monsters that we can special summon them by themselves, like Elder and Kizan. So, like, we can out Beast easier than Pepe can do it themselves. Um, uh, so, like, like, so, like, Beast isn't as much of a problem against Six Samurai as much of it is against Pepe. Like, Pepe will make Beast against you. Knowing that you're playing a lot of spells, but you won't have a problem running this over like they do. So, Beast is just so amazing, this format. Like, it's crazy. Uh, double Sheen. It's good to have this backed up with the Beast as well. I mean, he's still really good. 25. Uh, he can negate once per turn, you know. I mean, it's still pretty cool to have. Like, this still fucks up a lot of Pendulum decks. And since it negates the activation, uh, it gets sent to the graveyard instead of the extra deck. Um, level 6. Uh, my only level 6 is Goyo Guardian. Let's say they made Beast against you, like Pepe. They made Beast against you. You open like a Kizan and Kagamusha. You can make, you can Synchro to make a Goyo, run the Beast over, and then take their Beast. Which is pretty cool. Um... I don't run Barkeon, I actually side it. I just felt like I don't need a main main board anything that's not as relevant to this format. Like Barkeon was good for me last format when it was, everything was a little bit more trap heavier, like Tellers and BA. But now not so much. No not not many decks not many of the good decks right now are playing heavy traps. Uh so that's why I didn't play Barkeon in my main extra deck. Um my level eight is Stardust. Just another card to protect the lock. Uh, I guess stops wavering guys. Ignister. Um, and like maybe Archman Eccentric as well. They do play that, which is an out to beast. Um, Trishula. Trishula is also MVP in this deck. You can make Trishula so easy. Like going second, Trishula is devastating as well. Like. It just summoning Trishula against Pepe is just end game, and like it's just so good. It's like I'm I'm at, I'm at loss for words on how easy this card is to make. Um, Leo, uh, you run Leo because ten is a lo lot easier to make in this deck because of Norden. Uh, there's so many times where you go into fusion Norden back Kagamusha special keys on then make a ten and then you have Leo. It outs all the big ships in Cosmo. It runs them over because he's 31. And he can be targeted, which is really relevant as well. Uh, the main phase 2 part is doesn't really matter because 
that doesn't really matter actually. <laughs> um, I mean, it will get Ignister to sleep though, so that's a thing. But um, uh, Karen Gorgon, staple in my extra deck. Uh, it's protect the lock. It is so good this format. Protect your beast. Nothing much I can say. It's just so amazing. Um, best rank four in the game right now. Uh, other another MVP rank four is Gandiva. Uh, it's not generic, but you 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 use uh, two level four warriors, um, and then and it destroys any when your opponent would special summon a level four lower monster, you can destroy it or destroy them. So if they decide to pendulum summon a bunch of level four lower monsters, it just it can destroy them all. Um, if you have this and a beast up, and they ch try to out your beast by special summoning a hat trigger, and you destroy the hat trigger, and then they're fucked. Uh, so yeah, this is still this is really good in the extra deck right now. If you're playing anything that uh, that runs warriors, it's good to play this. Um, other rank fours is cowboy, bang bang, cat. Uh, what is that? 101. I'm sorry, you can't see it. In Castell, Castell to spin back floodgates, problem cards, I guess. Scales, pendulum scales. Um, 101 to. Suck up big monsters or like any special summon monsters, whatever. Clear the board. Um, cowboy, bang bang, go for game. Like, like these rank fours are easily replaceable if you guys want. Maybe any of these two, probably. But I would definitely run these three rank fours right here. These are so good. Um, but that's it for the extra deck. Uh, on for like side deck is really the side deck is really just player's preference, like. Like, of course, I'm going to side the Barkeon, and I'm going to side Dweller, because Dweller's not that great this format either. It's only against, Pep, uh, I mean, Cosmo, uh, Rogue decks, I guess. But, um, I chose to side these. Um, extra deck is, I mean, side deck is, like, I, I guess, like, triple Maxi for Pepe, triple Iron Wall for Cosmo, triple Breakthrough Skill for anything, I guess. Uh, triple MST, I guess it's not that great, actually. But it's just a basis. Um, Diamond Ptolemaeus. Still relatively good. I mean, if you play against Infernoids. Uh, the Minerva Lightsworn deck. Um, um, what else? Like BA if you still end up playing that deck. And it's good against the four Infernoids because uh, it stops them, stops them from sacking you, sacking you for... for for, from a reasoning, my bad. Can't talk. Um, these are just more cards like System Down for Cosmo, I guess. Flying C for Pepe or Teller Knights or BA, but Stygian Dirge is a lot better. Uh, Stygian Dirge is the trap card that reduces all your opponent's monsters' levels by one, which is extremely devastating against Pepe because they can't really do anything. But they're monsters with that card up, especially if you have a Naturia Beast on the board. That's just game. Uh, Raigeki is just Raigeki. Um, yeah, guys, that's that's it from my six center my deck. Hope you guys enjoyed that deck profile. I'm sorry that it was like 18 minutes long, but I really just wanted to explain all my card choices and such. But uh, yeah, I hope thanks guys, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing to me. Uh. Like, comment, subscribe, click an ad, please, because I am partnered. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for my next do for, for my next deck profile. Happy New Year, guys!